Hello guys, in this video, let's create Azure IoT Hub. Then we will add a device in IoT Hub. Now guys, we don't need actual IoT device to send messages to IoT Hub. So we will send messages to IoT Hub from this device using Raspberry Event Stimulator. Again, it's free. Now guys, message that is it's a telemetry message and telemetry it means value measured by sensor of iot device for example temperature and finally we will view the message in iot explorer which we installed in our last video now guys we are in azure portal and let's click on iot hub let's say create iot hub let's select resource group let's give name to our iot hub so we'll say herschel hyphen iot hyphen hub let's keep region as it is and let's select tier as free tier and now let's say review plus create and let's say create and our iot hub has been created successfully and now let's say go to resource so we are under overview and here we can see the basic details like resource group tier location that is region etc and now let's add a device in this iot app so let's click on these devices please follow my mouse and add device and here i will say herschel hyphen iot hyphen device hyphen one and save now the device does not appear over here so let's say refresh and we can see the device and now we want to send messages that is we want to send telemetry messages from this device to the iot hub and for that we'll use raspberry iot stimulator so let's open a browser and here i will say raspberry iot stimulator let's open this first one And guys observe over here so on line number 15 we need to provide the connection string for our device and then we have to simply click on run and this will send events that is messages from this device to the iot hub and one more thing if i scroll down and if you observe this line of code that is from line number 24 to line number 33 so that means here we are sending this data that is device id temperature humidity etc and of course we can edit this and we can send our custom messages as well but as of now we'll keep this as it is so again let's go up and here we need to provide the connection string for our device so for that let's go to the azure portal let's open this device which we just added and here let's copy this connection string that is primary connection string so copy it and again let's go to the raspberry client and let's paste it over here that is under connection string and now before we click on run now let's open iot explorer which we installed in our previous video so that we can view the messages which are coming in iot hub so let's click on start and here i will say iot so let's open this azure iot explorer preview and here we need to provide the connection so let's click on add connection and here we need to provide the connection string for our iot hub so again let's go to the portal let's duplicate this tab let's click on home let's open iot hub let's go down and under security settings let's click on shared access policies let's open this iot hub owner let's copy this primary connection string and again let's go to the iot explorer and let's paste it over here and let's click on save 
and here we can see the device which is there in this IoT app. So let's open this device. Let's click on this telemetry and let's click on this start. That means we can now view the messages which are sent from this device that is Herschel IoT device 1 to the IoT app. So let's go to our Raspberry client again. And now let's simply click on run. So in simple words, we are now sending messages from our device to the IoT app. That is we are sending telemetry messages. So let's click on run. And let's again go to IoT Explorer. And here you can see we have the messages which are sent to the IoT hub and the messages it contains message ID, device ID, temperature and humidity. So this is exactly the same data which we are sending from Raspberry client. So if I show you and here if you go down see message ID, device ID, temperature and humidity. So that's it guys. Thanks. Thanks for listening.